you know, I've just realised I don't think I've got a video of me putting a gland on. Just as, you know, like for people who've never done, apprentices who've never done glanding before. So, here we go. Right, to measure the shroud, what I do is I put it onto the cable like that. And then I look down, the oh, you wouldn't have been able to see that. I look down that side of the cable and this side of the cable and where the shroud meets the side of the cable, I make an incision with the knife. So I'll do that now. So flatten it out. There we go. It drops there. So cut that. You can put it on the end of the cable as well if you're not too sure which is a safer way of doing it really, so you're making sure that you get a, a good cut. But I'm happy with that. So now, unless you've got one of those, you'll have to transfer that line round nice and straight with a piece of PVC tape or something, which is how we used to do it in olden days. So you do that and then cut round it with your junior hacksaw or your big hacksaw or whatever. Or you could go and buy yourself one of those. And you can ring round it. Now, that was, I've moved it one space because it couldn't quite reach that one. So, sorry, it couldn't quite reach that one, so I did it on that one to get it through the PVC. Now I've transferred it. Now I can score the armour. There we go. Strip through it. Oops. Obviously everybody knows what how to do that. Because if you didn't, you wouldn't have any scrap copper, would you? Well then, not everybody will tell you to do this, but I find it helps a lot. So cut one of the armour and pieces down, wind it onto the cable, and particularly on days like this, when it's quite warm, what that does is it stops like that happening on your armour. And then that complicates you getting your gland started and all of that stuff. So if you do this, it keeps it pretty tight together because the PVC can get warm. And then it doesn't contain the armor when you're pulling against it. So you can just bend them off. You can even cut them down. So I went and bought There they are. Some little ball coppers from Nipex. Two at a time. No problem at all. And then, and also as well, when you start and bending them off, don't don't go like that straight away because that will force the fish hooks to start. You start your bend at a slight angle, like that, 
there, then you go back and it weakens it straight away and there's less chance of you forcing the, the bend up, forcing the uh, armour inside the bend up. That's what I've found anyway. In the, uh, in the three months I've been doing this, <laughs> three months. Twenty-five years. That's how long I've been doing this. You'd think I'd have found something else to do, wouldn't you? Now I know you might be thinking, well, I'm not going to start doing glands, like 63 mil glands, straight away on my first one, but it doesn't really matter, does it? The principle is the same. Of every gland, of every size, you've just got to make sure it's tight, make sure everything is correct, ship shape and Bristol fashion. So right, now then, I'm going to... What have I got? I'm going to pull this up slightly because I can't get those arms off on the back. View really want it. I'm gonna put these down. Maybe you'll see the bend's better in this, how shallow the bend initially is. There, that's it. You can actually feel a little bit of resistance as well. I suppose that's where it meets the other side of the armour of where you've put the cut. By the way, that's called the armour cut. Which makes sense really, doesn't it? Because you're cutting the armour. Right. No, done with that. So that will go away. Right, let's see. Oh. There we go. Let's see if I can get it on. I shall use the technique taught to me by Lee, who watches my YouTube videos and Instagram. Mm -hmm. It just goes to show you, although I've been doing it 25 years, I still learn. I love this trip. Three or four tie wraps inside the shroud. And off she goes. You can't say it's not a snug fit. Right.
back of the gland on, hold it in the in the shroud, and it just stops it dropping down and getting in your way. Now, back to the exhaust cutter. This is why they're so good, see? Because what's that? Otherwise, you have to do it with your knife, and it might be a bit wonky. Whereas this, you know, you're getting a straight line. So that's about, well, let's see what it is. Let's measure it. That, uh, about 27 mil or something like that. Um, I don't, I, I don't think there's a, a set distance for each gland size. You've just got to sort of judge it. So for me, what I do is I take that distance and more or less double it really. And then you know that you've got enough for the armour to spread out. So it's, it'll, it'll spread from the centre and sit there without being, if it's too short, it sits like yeah. too far out. And if it's too long, there's every chance that it'll come up behind the, the shroud. So you've got to get a happy medium. Strip off your paper. Bloody hell. Would be sort of awkward when I'm trying to video it, wouldn't it? Right, now I've got one of them. It's got a chamfered edge, so it fits pretty decent underneath the armour. I suppose you could use a big screwdriver, a big flathead screwdriver, I know a lot of lads use a, a hack knife, but they're generally HV jointers who's got a hack knife. Um, I mean, I suppose you could, you could use any flat piece of metal, really, but if you are going to be doing... I used to have a mini crowbar. I used to love that, but I got lost. So, now then. Cone of your gland up. And then... Hodge in. There we go. Where's me? Oh, my. There it is. Hang on. So now I hold this as firm as I can, and I'm just going to tap this over the edge. Get a couple of turns started. There we go, and just give it a little tap back up. See the movement on it? It's quite a bit there. There we go. Now that looks that looks pretty level to me. teeth on because they're not moving anywhere and use the flat flat grips to tighten the back nut. Yeah. She's tight. Shroud on. There we go. Can't see anything open up the back and then one one extra thing no matter what size cable you're using always ring it before you put it in because if you don't the cable could be at the back of the panel and then you've got to get a standing knife in and try and ring right round it which always ends in tears even if it's all you're doing is scoring it so now that is basically that done. There's your gland on. 
that's not, I didn't show you measuring it or anything like that, that's just actually fitting the gland. So, in another video, I'll show you how I measure. Um, so there's no extra, there's no spare, or the, you know, short, which is what you don't want. I'll show you how to measure it absolutely spot on. But yeah, there's your gland video.